Hey guys, it's SJ. Oh my god, don't you just love a wedding? And it is officially wedding kind of season, isn't it? I've been to a few Christmas weddings. My sister got married at Christmas. I got married Midsummer Day. Uh, so it's my 10 year wedding anniversary next week, which is crazy. But recently I got to go to one of my best friend's weddings. She got married in Santorini. It was stunning. If you follow me on Instagram, I was like all over it. <laughs> and it was just such a beautiful wedding. I did the classic thing of just buying tons of dresses from ASOS, but I've also got a couple from the high street as well. And I loved everything I got, which is quite unusual. So I thought I would show it to you. I like to be quite bohemian all the time, I guess, quite vintage style, boho floral pinks, <laughs> quite girly, I guess. And I think that's really nice for a wedding anyway. So I'm gonna show you everything I got, try it all on, and give you my honest reviews of the stuff I bought online. It's so hard, isn't it? This video is actually in collaboration with one of my all-time favourite mummy vloggers, Emily Norris. So Emily's also been to a wedding this month and done the same as me. Our husbands probably hate ASOS. <laughs> but yeah, she's got a big wedding guest haul over on her channel. If you don't know Emily, she is the ultimate mum I love on YouTube. I've been following her for years and our children are all actually the same age. But she is my go-to channel. She does the most amazing routine videos, weaning videos, her mum hacks start there if you're new to her channel because they are so brilliant she just inspires me in lots of ways mainly just with her optimism and just the fact that her videos are all just about everyday motherhood she's just like me at home she's so relatable um, yet she makes everything seem so happy she's literally the sunniest person on the internet so make sure you head over to her channel after this and watch her wedding guest because she's got amazing style as well. Don't forget to subscribe when you are over there. If you're not already, you will love her. And if we're new from Emily's channel, thanks so much for coming over and checking out my channel. As I said, we've both got three kids and our kids are all exactly the same age, which is maybe why I relate to her so much and she relates to me so much. But we get on super duper well. I upload the same days as Emily, so you can always watch her and then come and hang out over on my channel. Please do subscribe, I would love to have you. So I'm gonna show you everything. These range from being like 30 pound options, right up to nearly 200 pounds. Some of them are more edgy than others as well, so I might go safe to edgy as an order. <laughs> so this first dress is from ASOS and it is so gorgeous. It is an embellished skater dress. The reason I was drawn to this is I love pink and green so much at the moment. I've always loved pink and green and I love pink for weddings. It's so romantic and it has these gorgeous embellishments and the way they've put these flowers are just really flattering. It's great because it's got long arms so if you don't really fancy getting your arms out or you haven't got time to do like a ultimate spray tan, then go for it. And I also love the fact that the embellishment is on the back and on the front. And it's a really zhuzhy one for a good old dance floor. And I like the fact that you can wear a good old decent bra with this because I am a mum of three and I mainly need a decent bra. I got this in a size eight, which is a bit risky for me. I've just lost four stone, but it fits quite well. And I just think it's a super flattering dress, to be honest. So I think you just can't go wrong with this dress. You would get tons of wear out of it as well, because you could wear it to Christmas parties because it's got the long arms. So next up, have you seen the brand Frock and Frill? They're the ultimate boho dresses. They're quite pricey. So I'm gonna try and keep an eye on them on ASOS and on their website to see if sales come up. This dress I got is like me all over. And this was definitely one I was gonna wear to the wedding, but I changed my mind last second. So it is a long maxi boho dress. What's beautiful about this dress is that these lacy bits are sheer. So you can kind of see your leg, um, which is just really nice when you're wearing a maxi dress, because I'm quite short, I'm five foot four, and I'll show you the length of the dress because I got this in a size 10 and a size eight. I bought both sizes petite. There wasn't much difference in the two sizes, to be honest. So go for what you feel most comfy in. The only thing with this dress is due to the open back and because the front panel here lace is totally see-through, is literally impossible to find a bra to wear with it. So I tried stick-on bras, I tried bra, bra converters to turn them into backless bras, nothing really worked. And it's not so tight that it really, really holds you in. So I'm wearing it with no bra and that would have been the option I'd have had to have gone for. Which didn't look too bad, but it's not my most comfortable situation to be in. The reason I ended up not wearing it was because the length is really on the edge in terms of being able to really walk around lots of stairs and cobbly streets like we were in Santorini. 
and also it's quite a heavy dress despite the lace and it was such a boiling boiling hot day I can't describe how hot it was in Santorini that I thought I would probably have big sweat patches or something horrendous like that so I had a simpler summery uh, dress I went for but guess what I'm gonna keep it because it's so me and it just has to be worn and I think I will keep the size 10 and send the 8 back because the 8 was just a little bit uncomfortably tight around the little middle bit. So this is another ASOS salon number. I saw it and I had to buy it because I wanted to try it on so much. I fell in love with the Sweetheart neckline. It's just a beautiful, beautiful neckline, isn't it? That's just my favourite and it's pink and green again. And I also absolutely loved the flower details that kind of stick out. It's so unusual. However, I did think it's probably a little too white to wear to a wedding. I really wish they'd done this in maybe like a pale green or something like that so that then I would 100% have worn it to a wedding. The other thing is it's so poofy. I'll show you in the try on, but it's got like, um, I don't know, do you call this organza? or netting, whatever, that makes it really puff out. So you literally feel like you are a princess on top of a birthday cake. But it is the most pretty dress. And since I've bought this, I decided not to wear it to the wedding. I've seen somebody on my Facebook who did wear it to a wedding. So I think you totally could get away with it. it depends how formal the wedding is and how much you care about the white. But even for just another occasion, like a hen do, this is your own hen do, wear this dress. Because this is like a standout, almost like an evening dress for a wedding, isn't it? but it is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I always, always buy my wedding shoes from New Look because they're literally 20 quid, aren't they? And they've got all the different widths and all the different heights and they just get trashed. So these are just some plain gold ones. Oh, I've left the price on, which is uh, handy. <laughs> and these are 24.99. So those were my kind of more pricey dresses. I'm saving the one I actually wore till last, but I've got a couple of cheaper options from the high street, which I think are really great for weddings. So if you follow me already, you'll be sick of this dress because I think I've talked about it a million times. I've just worn it loads on Instagram, but I literally love it. So this is a kind of midi dress with long sleeves. So again, really, really flattering one. And I love the color of it. It is a beautiful yellow, but I love the print the most because it has like these little bugs and these white flowers. And this is H&M and it's only 30 pounds. It's still in there. You can also get blouse and things like that. It's the Anna Glover at H&M collection. So Anna Glover is a wallpaper designer. She does these amazing prints and I'm so into prints. And this is such a bohemian and lovely print. This dress is just beautiful to wear. I think for a summer wedding, couldn't go wrong. And then you could re-wear it again for barbecues. I wear this for days out with the kids on a weekend. It just is one of those really nice ones. The only thing with it is watch the size because this is is a size eight and it's the smallest size that they do and as you can see and I'm probably a true size eight at the moment but I would say this measures up between a 10 and a 12 unless you really like the flowy look which I do um so also it is nice to go to a wedding and wear a size smaller than you normally would be wearing isn't it so yeah get the size smaller don't be put off if they've only got smaller sizes in stock because it comes up quite large I knew I thought I would show it to you as a cheaper option. Okay, then this is a bit of my wild card option, but when I went to Wedding Santorini, a few of the girls, the guests, were wearing like um, jumpsuits, and I thought they looked so cool, so amazing, really comfy as a guest, and kind of more casual than going on for the full-on dress like I did. <laughs> um, and this one is a stunning one, again, by Anna Glover at H&M. It looks better on the try-on, it's a bit hard to show you, but the sleeves are what make it really, really exciting, it's got these big, big, puffy, girly glam sleeves which make it much more dressy than a normal jumpsuit and again the print is just my favorite because it is the blooms and bugs so it has the bees on it which I think again makes it just really really a bit trendy and a bit youthful because the other flowers are gorgeous as well it's in a kind of linen material so really nice for a summer wedding it is a different type of wedding guest look but you could really dress this up with like a fascinator or something like that I never buy fascinators whenever I'm going to a wedding I always find that some of my friends would have bought a fascinator so it's one of those things shoes clutch bags fascinators anything like that always ask your friends and borrow and just have them as like communal but yeah I don't know what you think of this jumpsuit let me know in the comments below if you think this is wedding appropriate I really really do I think it gives you a little bit of an edgier guest look but one that is really going to stand out from the crowd and make you feel very cool and comfortable I'm wearing a size 8 but they do have it from a size 6 to a 16 it is $29.99 you'll get tons of wear out of it you will be like the coolest guest at the wedding I think so what do you reckon would you wear this to a wedding okay last up is the dress I chose to wear 
are in the end to the wedding in Santorini. As I said, it was boiling hot. And as I said as well, I've just lost four stone. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to wear something a little bit riskier for me that was a bit more like, you know, like a little moment for myself because the first pink skate dress was probably my comfort zone so much. This was way out of it because it is 100% backless and I have never in my life worn a backless dress. Fell in love with this when I saw it on ASOS and it is ASOS Salon Floral Halter. Everything's going to be linked below. This to me was just so perfect for Santorini because the colours, like it has these gorgeous orangey colours and green. It does look quite white but it's more of like a kind of creamy colour and because of all the floral it didn't look white or kind of wedding me at all. I was slightly worried about it but it didn't, it looked fine. In Santorini, everything was white. We were in the Roccabella Hotel and it just was like the perfect dress to wear because it was scorching. And I had a orange pashmina that matched this to wear over to cover up the backlessness. If I was going to be in a church wedding, I probably wouldn't have worn this, but it matched where I was. The pashmina got lost. <laughs> <laughs> some point during the evening do I'm one of those types of wedding guests but yeah how do you like this dress or what do you think of it I just loved it I got it in a size 10 petite so that is the trick to get a petite I'm five foot four and anything longer would have been too long on me I actually am wearing no bra with it here but it kind of works because it's got a high halter neck it holds everything in and it's quite fitted around the top so i felt it held me in more than the frock and frill dress but on the day of the wedding i wore a stick-on bra more just to give me a little bit of confidence it really doesn't do very much i will link this one below because it is a decent one it was from amazon it's basically got really sticky the pads are pretty sticky these are pretty sticky and you just stick it on. This bit is totally clear so you could see a little bit of it because the dress cut there you could see this bit but not enough to kind of be an issue and I had my arms down most of the time anyway. It doesn't do much in the way of support to be honest girls like I wouldn't really recommend it. It looked terrible under the frock and frill dress which had no upward support but I think because that halter neck dress was quite tight it held it in because what this doesn't do is lift you in so it basically just goes like this with your boobs. I'm not going to show it to you with my boobs I'm afraid because that would be like a kind of horror show on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, stick on bras. What do you think if you found a decent one? But it was all right and I wore it and it worked. So that was my Bohemian Wedding Guest Haul. I'd love to know what you think of the dresses in the comments below. Let me know what you reckon, if we're gonna get any of them. As I said, they will all be linked if you want to go and buy them or check them out and try them on for yourself. Don't forget that Emily Norris has done this same video over on her channel. I will link it below and also her channel link below and I'll click to it at the end of the video as well. So you can go ahead and watch that one now. She has got the most gorgeous style and I got a sneak peek of the dress she ended up wearing to her wedding and it's beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be borrowing from her for the next wedding I go to. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, I would love you to hit subscribe. As I said, I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday around the same time as Emily, so you can watch hers and come and watch mine. Um, and yeah, I just love to have you here. I've done lots of motherhood videos mainly, but I also have done a few weight loss videos. As I said, I've just lost a lot of weight recently, so I'm talking about that a bit on my channel. And I do baby name videos every single Monday, which is kind of the highlight of my channel, I guess. I get loads of people who come to me for baby names. Thanks so much for watching this, and I will see you all on Friday when it will be a day in the life of me and the little kiddies. Bye guys.